Do over-the-counter retinol creams actually work for anti-aging, or do you need to skip right to the prescription form to actually get results? In this video, I am telling you the actual scientific evidence to answer this question so that you can make the best decision for your own skincare routine. And as always, I am bringing you my top product recommendations that will give you results on your skin if you are consistent. This is what I always tell my patients in my exam room. So come on in, everyone is welcome here. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist so you don't miss any more tips. So you all know by now that I'm a board certified dermatologist and a skincare expert. So I feel called to give you at least a little bit of education on retinoids so that we are all on the same page before moving on. Here are the five things that you need to know about retinoids. Then I'll answer the question in my video title, does over-the-counter retinol work? Number one, a topical retinoid is an ingredient that can improve skin conditions such as aging, like fine lines and wrinkles, uneven skin tone, texture, and acne. So it's a fabulous product to have in many skincare routines. Number two, retinoid is the catch-all term for all forms of this vitamin A ingredient, but I like to think of retinoids as existing in two categories, over-the-counter or prescription. Number three, the over-the-counter forms all get converted into the prescription form where they exert their skin benefits, so you end up with the same product absorbed into your skin when all is said and done. Number four, retinoids can cause significant side effects such as irritation, redness, pain, burning, stinging, and flaking or peeling skin. Classically, prescription retinoids are known for more side effects, while the over-the-counter options tend to be way more tolerable. And number five, these are not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding people. I have my other retinoid videos linked below for even more information. But here is the problem, and I know that you can relate to this. Retinoids are confusing. There are a ton of options and forms and words and numbers and claims and big shiny boxes to really lure you in. Oh, and don't forget about those online ads about a doc in the box to send you a prescription for a retinoid right to your doorstep. You are left wondering, should you choose a prescription or go with an over-the-counter form? Do you need a serum or a cream or a gel? Do you need a 1% or a 0.5% or a product with no percentage listed at all? Do you need a retinol or a retinaldehyde or a retinal palmitate or a tretinoin form? How do you pick? After all, you just want something that works. You want it to work for your skin, your lifestyle, and your bank account. Now here's the deal. When it comes to choosing the best product for yourself, three things are really going on that end up driving your final decision. First, you think about how much work it will take you to get the product. I call this factor accessibility. If you can get a product all on your own with the click of a button, instead of going through a provider or a telemedicine service for a prescription, that is most often what people prefer. Second, you look at the price. What is the least amount that you have to spend to get a product that will work? You want the product that will give the results without overspending on the excess fluff. And third, you wonder, is it easy and tolerable to use? You will look for something that feels good on the skin and doesn't cause side effects. After all, if you don't enjoy using the product, you won't use it. So in your ideal world, you end up picking a product that you can get right now without a middleman, a product that you can afford comfortably, and one that you enjoy using. But does that perfect combination of an accessible, affordable, effective, and elegant retinoid really exist? Or is that a waste of time and money and you should skip right to a prescription? The only way to answer that is with real science. Let's go to the research studies published in our medical journals on this very topic to get the answers we need to know. There are really two parts here to dissect. One, does retinol actually work at all? And if it does work, how do the results of an over-the-counter retinol compare to a prescription retinoid? Let's tackle the first part now. Does retinol actually work for anti-aging? Meaning, does it really reduce the lines and wrinkles and plump your skin up with brand new shiny collagen? We know that the prescription forms of retinoids like tretinoin actually have anti-aging benefits. I'm linking those studies below. But does the over-the-counter version have these same benefits? 
let's go back to the published science on this topic. This landmark study in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology shows that retinol applied to the skin causes thickening of the skin, which is a good thing, and it was proven that retinol induced the same cellular changes as the prescription form that are responsible for anti-aging, like building new collagen. Check out this other study. After the volunteers used retinol on their skin for nine months, they had visible improvement of their fine lines and wrinkles. These visible improvements actually started as early as 12 weeks. Check out these study images here. This study is linked below as well so that you can look at and enlarge these images on your own. The researchers in this study also used advanced techniques to image the surface of the skin. They saw gradual disappearance of the crow's feet lines over time. These results can be seen here. The blue lines are the valleys of the crow's feet. Those minimize over time, and at the 36-week mark, you can see that they are virtually gone. This confirms what we are seeing visually. And how about this study, published in one of our most prestigious dermatology journals? The scientists applied retinol lotion to the arms of elderly volunteers only three times a week for 24 weeks and compared that to just regular lotion without retinol. The results showed that people who got the retinol lotion had significant improvement in their signs of aging and wrinkles compared to those who just got the plain lotion. They even took skin biopsies from some of these volunteers and examined it under the microscope. They saw that the retinol on the skin increased the glycosaminoglycans, which are known to retain water in the skin, build collagen, and other dermal structural components of the skin. This means that the skin is stronger, it doesn't tear or injure as easily, and has a more youthful appearance. From my review of the science, I can comfortably say that over-the-counter retinol works. There are numerous other studies just like these showing these same results verified over and over again. These sources are linked below. How well does over-the-counter retinol work compared to prescription retinoic acid? Check out this study. Evidence shows that topical retinoids, such as those that you can buy off the shelf like Neutrogena or L'Oreal Serum or the Skin Medica or SkinCeuticals, just to name a few, the retinol actually does penetrate the skin and is metabolized by the skin keratinocytes to retinoic acid, which is the prescription form. This means that the over-the-counter retinol that you put on your skin turns into the prescription form. In science speak, this means the retinol is a precursor in the metabolic pathway of retinoic acid. SCORE! It's like you are getting a prescription without a prescription. The source for that study is below. But I know what you are thinking. Retinol is much weaker than a prescription. Let's talk about that. Over-the-counter retinol is generally considered to be about 10 times less potent than the prescription tretinoin. But that is not the whole story. Higher potency doesn't always mean that it works better. Check out this study. They tested this very theory by using three concentrations of over-the-counter retinol compared to the same three concentrations of prescription tretinoin. They had volunteers apply the retinol concentration to one side of their face and the tretinoin to the other. They did this for each strength of retinoid tested, the low, medium, and high strengths. You would think that the tretinoin side in all groups showed 10 times more improvement in anti-aging, right? Wrong. The results showed that there were no significant differences in efficacy between retinol and tretinoin among these test groups. All groups improved about the same amount and showed improvement in overall photo damage, fine lines and wrinkles, coarse lines and wrinkles, skin tone brightness, mottled pigmentation, and tactile roughness. You want more? Okay, let's look at this study where they applied retinol over the counter to the faces of one group of volunteers and applied prescription tretinoin to the other group. They found that both forms improved considerably the wrinkles, mottled pigmentation, pores, and global photo damage. No statistically significant differences were noted between the retinol group and the tretinoin group. However, they did find one significant difference. The retinol was tolerated significantly better with less side effects than the tretinoin. Now, another major factor in your choice of retinoid, 
is how well you tolerate it and how much you enjoy using it. Many studies show that over-the-counter retinol is significantly better tolerated than prescription tretinoin or retinoic acid. And it is far less likely to cause side effects like redness, pain, burning, irritation, and flaking of the skin. This is consistently shown across studies. So let's summarize what we learned from looking at the science. Retinol works, it has the potential to work as well as the prescription version, and it is far better tolerated and has less side effects. Here is my science disclaimer though. All scientific studies are not created equally. Some studies are designed better than others. So instead of holding any one study as the gold standard, it's important to look at the totality of evidence to see the trend in some cases. And ultimately, you get to decide for yourself how you regard these studies and determine what makes the most sense for your own skincare routine. My final opinion is, retinol works as well or well enough compared to prescription if you have a stable and well-formulated product. I love that the side effects are less for over-the-counter products. For me, this means that you are more likely to use it often and consistently, so you will get better results. Now, if you want to try an over-the-counter retinoid product for yourself, here are my top product recommendations for the face and the body. Avene is a drugstore brand that makes a line of retinoid anti-aging products. I have these exact ones linked in the description below. They use retinaldehyde as the form of retinoid. This is a highly effective form of retinoid and the closest thing to prescription strength, but without the side effects. This line is called Retronal. They have three strengths for the face cream. They have a day cream, a 0.05 version, and a 0.1 intensive version. Even though I have sensitive skin, I still use the 0.1 Intensive and tolerate it very well. It is a very moisturizing product. It delivers the retinol medication to your skin, and then it creates this nice hydration barrier over it so you're preventing water loss from the skin that occurs with retinoid use. So this prevents your skin from drying out. If you have never used a retinoid, Feel free to start with the day cream or the 0.05 version and then work your way up to the 0.1 intensive. They also have an eye cream form of this retinaldehyde, which is my go-to product for crow's feet. I try to use this product every single night and I have a whole product review video on this product alone. So these two products together are in my own personal routine. I have these linked below. If you want to spend less money, check out the L'Oreal Retinol Serum 0.3%. I like this because it has an actual percentage of retinol named on the label, so you know what you are getting. This is a lightweight serum, which gives you the flexibility of choosing your own moisturizer to apply over top. I like to pair this with the La Roche-Posay Double Repair Moisturizer. I will link both of these products below as well. Two other absolute drugstore staples are the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair and the Olay Retinol 24 Max. I consider these similar products. These do not disclose their percentage strength of retinol. However, many clinical studies show their efficacy. I like to use options like this on my neck and hands because I find them way more gentle in those sensitive skin areas. These are linked below as well. Now, here are my two favorite retinol products for the body. Use these for crepey chest skin and neck and to firm the skin on the arms and legs. The first product is by Versed. It's the Firm Ground Retinol Body Lotion. I have it linked below. This has encapsulated retinol in it, so it will be most effective at firming the skin, smoothing out the rough texture, and make it look all over brighter. Use this at night to preserve the effectiveness of the retinol. This has squalane, cocoa butter, and vitamin E, which all give it the luxurious feel while still containing the powerhouse retinol to do the heavy lifting. And second, Paula's Choice Retinol Skin Smoothing Body Treatment. I love the Paula's Choice brand overall, and this product really lived up to the hype as well. All of these products I recommended meet my criteria of accessible and elegant. Price points can vary widely in over-the-counter products. Remember, your retinoid product is your most important in your anti-aging routine. So pick the best product for yourself and build the rest of your routine around that. Comment below what your favorite retinoid is so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more skincare made simple content. See you soon.